back again um, on a Monday, rather unusually, but um, I seem to have the time to do it. So uh, I'm going to show some records again. Now, uh, a few over the last couple of months, I've done uh, a record showing 545s by Soul Ladies and 545s by Soul Gents. So now I'm going to do 545 from Soul Groups and um, see what you think. So <clears throat> these are kind of rare-ish, um, some of them a lot more rarer than others. Some of the groups you, might well, you may well know, but some of the 45s are quite hard to get. So I'll start off with one which is from a very well-known group, and I think most of their records are probably quite easy to get, but I know that this <clears throat> 45 is quite in demand, so it can be a bit harder. Now it's a nice tune uh, from 1980, and I first heard it being sampled on this hip hop LP, which uh, from Camp Low, which is very sought after nowadays, this record. Uh, I remember when it came out and I got it because I was really into it. And it, it's actually quite an interesting LP because it's basically one of the last sort of hip hop LPs which could get away with just bare naked sampling without much attempt to disguise it. And I think um, shortly after this, legally it became very difficult to produce an album like this and then you had sort of uh, artists like Jay Diller obviously moving this whole thing forward and taking the, the, the form of sampling to new places and new heights so I think if somebody doing two obvious samples like that would be hard but um, for me a lot of this time I was listening to these uh, tunes I, I knew a few of the samples but there were lots of stuff that was new to me um, so I always think of it uh, think of it that way and on this particular LP, the, the song that most people seem to remember is called Lucini. This is it. And it comes originally from this song. Uh, here's the 45 from Dynasty. The name of the song is Adventures in the Land of Music. Really classic uh, soul tune, this one, um, with a nice sort of pomp and razzmatazz to it. It samples very well as well, but uh, the minute I heard the original, I knew that I wanted to try and find a, sorry, the minute I heard the, the sampled version, I knew I wanted to one day find the, this, and I did eventually. Um, but yeah, like I say, because it's um, quite well known, maybe from the hip hop, uh, but maybe just because it's a good tune, it's quite in demand, so it can fetch a bit, but um, see what you think anyway, if you don't know it. <laughs> Okay, and uh, I'm now going to show a couple of records from a label which I really, really love. More than anything, just because it looks so beautiful. This is on the Innovation 2 label, uh, which is a Chicago soul label. I think it was started by um, Carl Davis, who was a big sort of mover and shaker in the, the industry uh, in the Chicago and eventually... I think, was it 20th Century Records? Was, was that them? The, a lot of those um, big, the Chai Lights, all that sort of stuff, um, they uh, they released all of that. All of that. Was it 20th Century? I'm thinking of something else, aren't I? Anyway, um, <clears throat> Carl Davis, he's a, a big guy uh, on that scene. And this group, uh, Windy City, is the name of the group. And they had this LP, which is really nice. Brunswick Records, that's what I'm thinking of, Brunswick. Um <clears throat> And this is on Chai Sound Records, which is again another Carl Davis thing. And it's got some good stuff on here, some yeah, okay stuff. It's a fairly decent LP. Uh, and it has, uh, I think it's If By Chance on, on here, which is on that LP as well. Unfortunately, this, I don't know if you can see it, 
is pretty knackered. These are on styrene, these uh, 45s. The, the, this side is unplayable, but it doesn't matter. I've got it on the LP. But the reason I really wanted this was for the B side, Hey, It's Over, which is just some classic, classic Chicago soul with that really hard snare drum. Uh, really love it and I love and it's not on the LP so that makes this quite a sought after 45 um, because it's so knackered um, I didn't have to pay too much which was fine because um, this bit this one plays okay so uh, it's really lovely I I think it's lovely anyway see what you think <laughs> Sticking with the uh, soul of Chicago, I think I've shown this record before, The Lost Generation, Young, Tough and Terrible, lovely, lovely stuff, really great LP on that one. I do have another LP as well, but perhaps one of their most sought after uh, things is again on the Innovation 2 label, and that's this, uh, Your Mission, If You Decide to Accept It, cashing in on the uh, Mission Impossible uh, thing which is going on then. This is 1974, so I think the series was probably quite well known then. Um, and it's got a nice, sort of sexy uh, intro with the uh, spoken word monologue. Um, and it's a really, really lovely one. So um, I would definitely recommend that one. Again, it's it's on the styrene, but this is a nice, clean copy. But there's a bit of a problem. Give it a listen first. See what you think. Good morning, baby. The picture of the man that you're looking at. The picture of a lonely man who found out too late that by losing you, he lost the best thing he's ever had. Your mission, if you decide to accept it, is to try his love just one more time, or his heart will self destruct. So my problem with this is it plays like a dream. It's absolutely lovely until you get to this. And to be honest, I just don't know how to get rid of that. If anybody can give me any good advice how to stop a skip like that, on an otherwise completely clean record, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, um, <clears throat> another one. Uh, this is a bit more upbeat by a group called Family Circle. Uh, I like this one. And uh, again, I think this is a styrene job. Um, I hope you really love me. Yeah, nice sort of upbeat, danceable soul, that. Um, but kind of mellow at the same time, the way I like it. They've got a really nice LP, which is very, very rare which I don't have, um, but yeah, I'll settle for this. Um, I don't think it's super rare, this, but it's not the easiest one to find either, but see what you think.
And I'm just going to end up with one here, which I'd say of all of these is probably the hardest to find um, and the one that seems to fetch the most money. Um, this is by a disco group called Rise. And uh, the A side is a really nice disco song. Uh, Tonight's going to be my night. They have an LP as well, which um, is quite sought after, I think, with a very, very 80s looking cover. This is from 1981. Um, but it's all about the B side here, which is Two Step Heaven. And uh, I know in the last few years become very sought after this record. Um, it's a really, really nice one. I absolutely love it. it. It's very joyful, the sound that it has for me personally. Anyway, that's why I'm talking about some of the harder to get uh, 45s, because sometimes they feel a bit special that way, don't they? Anyway, uh, that's uh, five more 45s, this time with some groups. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time.